What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, Chicago Blackhawks re-upping uh, Mark McNeil to a one-year deal worth $600,000. Uh, people are asking, you know, what's what's this got to do with anything? I think he's your de facto Andrew Shaw replacement. I think that's, you know, I think he's going to come in. Him and Ryan Hartman will be your, the two guys that compete for that spot. And, you know, I think a lot of my friends at the Blackhawks fans are, you know, kind of upset that they took him. Uh, took Mark McNeil. At that's where they did in 2011. Uh, 18th overall in the two picks after him were Clef Baum and, and Connor Murphy, both, you know, serviceable NHL defensemen. Uh, but, A, as I love to say, uh, NHL drafting is a marathon, not a sprint with these kids. And McNeil, I think, has the ability to be a serviceable NHL forward. Um, and also, before any Blackhawks fans complain about the 2011 draft, uh, they got Brandon Saad and Andrew Shaw out of that draft. So, all due respect, shut the fuck up. Uh, but, you know, you look at what McNeil is, gives you some size, led Rockford in scoring and, and uh, goals last year, and might have led in scoring as well. So, you know, you have the opportunity to uh, plug in a guy that can give you some size, some physicality, or he's their number two scorer in points, led them in. Uh, goals with 25 so you know he can step in there kind of be that that middle six guy give you give you a little something different and i think that's you know a good thing to have in that lineup uh you know a lot of blackhawks fans are just kind of reading some of the twitter posts and, and blogs out there kind of souring on uh, ryan hartman i wouldn't i think he, he can fill in a, a pretty good void i think him and mcneil will be guys that compete for you know that sort of physical Compliment to the the more skilled guys they have, and you know Chicago's got a ton of skill throughout that lineup, but not a whole lot of sandpaper. And I mean, you think about it, if McNeil can be, can give you what Brian Bickle was giving you outside of that that great playoff run, just average Brian Bickle, who was not a great NHL, not a really not, he was a f f mediocre NHL player. If you're getting that for six hundred grand out of Mark McNeil on a team that's in salary cap hell. I think you take that. I mean, why wouldn't you? So I think McNeil and Hartman are going to be competing for you know a couple spots out of camp, and uh, you know we'll see what happens. Anyone that says the Blackhawks as a team are done is a moron. They've got a pretty underrated prospect pool. Kane and Taves are you know what twenty? They're both 20, Taves is twenty eight. Kane will be twenty eight in November. So yeah, if you're done, you're if you think they're done, you're you're an idiot. You're, Shit. So, anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.